<laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tool Time. And in this video we'll be looking at the Area Type Tool in Adobe Illustrator. And as usual if you want to follow along then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'm going to pass you over to our lead designer Rory who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our Illustrator file, we can find the Area Type tool sitting underneath the Normal Type tool over on the left hand side. So if I click and hold on the Type tool, you'll see the next option down here is the Area Type tool. And as you'll see from the examples, we can use this to place text within objects. Now over on the right hand side, we already have some simple shapes already set up here. So to start using this tool, I can't simply click within an object, you can see if I do that we'll get an error message popping up here so if I click OK what I actually have to do is click on a path itself so if I click again you can see we are now getting some dummy text placed into this shape now the only issue is that this will replace any fill color you have so if you want to retain a fill color you're going to have to make a duplicate so what I'm going to do is press command Z and I'll select these three shapes here and I'll press command C or control C on a PC and then command F or or again, control F on a PC to paste them in place. So as you can see, we have duplicates of each of them. Another thing to note is that if it's a closed path or a shape like this, we can actually use our normal type tool. And again, if I click on the path itself, we're going to get the same result. So it's worth noting that we can use the normal type tool in this situation as well. But as you can see, this text is being placed in and the shape is essentially acting as a text box. So if you've already seen our video on the normal type tool with a text box we can resize this and the text is going to adapt to fit within the text box. Check out the type tool video if you want to learn more about this but for now I'm just going to hit I on my keyboard and just eye drop the text over on the left hand side just to copy the formatting and we have a few more options so if I select my area type tool again with this text box selected if I double click the area type tool you'll see we get an options panel popping up and we can do things like add rows and columns so what I'll do is I'll bump the number of columns up to two and as you can see this is splitting our text box here into two columns we can also add inset spacing so this is essentially like padding around each edge of the shape we've got here so this is another useful feature and for this example I'm just going to go ahead and click OK now we can do this with other shapes as well so we have a circle here still with my area type tool selected again making sure I'm hovering over the path of the circle itself. If I click once in here, we're getting the same result. I'm going to grab my selection tool, I'll hit I on the keyboard, and I'll just eye drop from the circle on the left hand side. Now you'll see that the text at the moment is sitting up at the top of the circle. Again, with it selected, if I double click on the area type tool, you'll notice we have an align option here, and I can set this to be center, bottom, or justify, and that's going to adjust the vertical alignment of the text. So in this example I'll just click center and I'm also going to add some inset spacing again here and I'll click OK and you can see this is now aligning vertically to the center. Another thing to note here is that we're using justified text so it's aligning on both sides. If I was to change this to left aligned for example you can see it's going to have a slightly different look but it's still aligning to that left edge of the circle. Now it doesn't have to be perfect shapes we've got something slightly more organic here and another thing to note is that it also does doesn't have to be a closed path. So for example here, if I grab my direct selection tool, if I select this point down at the bottom and click and drag it, you can see this isn't actually a closed path. However, we can still use the area type tool to essentially place text wherever there is a filled area. So again, clicking on it here, hovering over the path itself, I'm going to click once, and again, we have text placed within here. Press I on the keyboard to copy the formatting again, and yet again, I'll double click on the area type tool and add some inset spacing. This tends to work well for this kind of example and we'll click OK. But that's it for an overview of the area type tool in Adobe Illustrator. Mm -hmm. 